Hi everyone, this is Nathan from theebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to show you the Cyrogen ROM on the Nook Color. This is the CN7, so it's the Android 2.3 Gingerbread. The other, there are different versions, um, different CM mod numbers for different versions of Android. So this is the latest version, CM7. Uh, what this does is it turns your Nook essentially into a full-fledged Android tablet, minus you know the stuff that is missing, like a camera and a microphone. But you'll be able to install the um, Google Apps, you'll be able to install the Android Market, you'll have the whole set of um, apps to install on this, unlike the truncated version of apps that you get with the Barnes & Noble store. Um, if you want to see that review, I also did a video for that. So like I was saying, with the CM7 mod, you can put in a whole bunch of different uh, Google Apps, even the Street View, and it's got all that stuff. Um, it puts the little buttons down here for your menu going back. You also got your Nook to go home, of course. So that's uh, one of the cool things. Um, you can install the Android Market, have all these different apps on here. You don't have to go through the Nook App Store. Um, I also tried out the, if you see my other video, the Honeycomb ROM. Um, that one isn't quite as good because uh, it's kind of a preview version. There's not, uh, it's not as polished and streamlined. I found that this version running very smooth. It's very, very quick. It's probably the best version of uh, Android to install. The best hack. The best. Um, ROM, whatever you want to call it, onto the Nook Color. I'm really liking it so far. Seems very stable and smooth. Okay, so with this new ROM, you can install, like I was saying, all the apps from the Android market. You got Gmail, YouTube. It's got Flash Player for watching web videos. Um, you can the there's lots of customizations with Android. A lot more stuff you can do here than you can with the stock app that comes with the Nook, for instance. Got different um, wallpapers down here. These are the uh, Cyogen wallpapers. So you can uh, add different folders directly onto your home screens. You got uh, five different home screens here. You can install different launchers. There is a bunch of different uh, customization things you can do. There's even some widgets. It's not as good as Honeycomb, of course. That's really got a lot of uh, setup for widgets, but um, this still has some different options. Then to move things around, it's the same old deal. You hold down, wait for a few seconds, then you can choose to uninstall or you can move stuff that way. Same with your folder. You want to change the name on that folder, you can edit the folder. You can add different uh, stuff to your folder. So right here, I've got the... When you install this, I have it on an SD card. You can install it on your memory, internal memory, if you don't want the regular Nooks functionality anymore. But all you got to do is take out your SD card uh, the back and then you have the regular Nook with the uh, Barnes & Noble's firmware on there. Um, so what I was saying is you don't have the regular Nook app that comes with the, the um, Nook Color, um, you know, a stock version. So you have to install the Android version if you want to get your Nook books on here. There are a few different things with this. I've, I've noticed you can't um, install, it won't read your like Nook Kids books, a couple of like the enhanced books and stuff. The Android app is not set up for those. So you'd have to go back to your regular Nook to get that kind of stuff. But like uh, the the Android app, I mean, it's going to work for all your books and stuff. And it's actually got some different features than the stock Nook app. It's got two-page view. It's got landscape view. And it's even got the fancy little page turns, which I find odd that those aren't included in the regular Nook because obviously they work fine on it. So that's kind of sort of the different thing right there. And you got your menu down here. It's got uh, most of the same options. I mean, you've got... Uh, different font sizes and you've got different color background options and you've got you know you hold down and you got your highlight add notes so it's got some of the same features as the regular Nook app but it doesn't have all the same features so the Cyogen mod has a whole bunch of built-in things that you can do with it in the settings here I mean um, you could uh, go in here to change the whole different uh, setup for lock screens one thing I also noticed that you can do as um, mess with the performance if you want to um, clock up the CPU a little bit higher. I know there are other hacks and other routes for CPU um, improvements for the Nook Color as well. So there's a lot of things you can do if you just want to um, take some time to do the development on here. So I've got the directions on how to do this on my website. Let me launch the browser here.
Okay, so if you want to figure out how to do this, there's different places you can go. I follow the directions at the XDA forums, and then I wrote kind of a smaller, quicker way to do it right here, just so it's a little bit easier. You got five steps to install the CM7, and then you got uh, four more quick steps to install the, the the Android Market, because that doesn't come on CM7. That come come with CM7 because of licensing um, restrictions. But uh, yeah, you can figure out how to do this here. All you need is an SD card if you don't want to do it to the internal memory. Um, I've noticed that like this browser definitely is faster than the regular Nook browser too. Um, I'm usually using the Dolphin browser though when I use this, um, this version of Android. But yeah, so that opens up your options for different versions of Android and different apps. So um, I'm going to wrap up this review right now. There's not a whole lot of difference to show here because everything is pretty much just the same with any other Android device on here. You got your YouTube, you got, like I said, uh, different apps for web browsers. Um, this stuff works well. Uh, Flash Player works. I was trying it on some different sites and it seems to work well. You got different games. Obviously, the whole plethora of games that are in the Android market. This is one that I was playing recently. Kind of fun. Kind of reminds me of Angry Birds, except for you're shooting zombies. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up this review. If you want to wrap this um, figure out how to do this, you can just uh, hit theebookreader.com and check out the tutorial. Thanks for watching.